Here at home, attention is on McFarland and the plans the city has for its library. The city announced it's looking for alternative uses for that building. Cemetery's Marco Torres went to McFarland to get some answers. The McFarland Library, once closed for almost two years, now open, but for only two days a week for just a few hours. Now, the city is looking into making plans to change the library into the police department, but community members say this is not the right choice. McFarland Library is in the heart of the town. It's used by the community, mostly by children after school. But advocates say the library does more than just loan books. But that library provides programming for all ages. They can get classes on things like employment, citizenship. Uh, so the possibilities are endless, um, and that space is used and loved by the community. Ariel Dyer helped oversee Shafter Library when it opened back up after closing because of the pandemic. Similarly, county branch libraries all shut down because of COVID, and McFarland Library is no exception. But when Shafter reopened, it was supported by the city instead of the county. Some community members say they want the same thing for the McFarland Library. Look at alternatives, uh, not the elimination of the library, but alternatives for the library. Where could it go? How would it look? You know, do we partner with it? All those things. McFarland Police Chief Kenny Williams says the city doesn't have the resources to support the library like Shafter. He says this is between having a library and public safety. However, library advocates still request the library to be left alone. Don't sit back. Don't be an idle bystander. The city is asking the county to relinquish the space, right? So the county has to say yes. Don't let the county say yes. The McFarland Police Chief Williams says that things are still in the preliminary phases and things may not happen until at least six months. From McFarland, Marco Torres, 17 News.